Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hill Place Select Reviews. Today I'm doing a wine. So if you all do me a favor, two things. One, subscribe. Two, check out my playlists and uh, for the amazement of what I review. Today we are doing Ammunition Wine Company, all right? Uh, based in Sonoma, California. The Equalizer. Take a look at it. It's kind of a old time Western um, label. I like it. Uh, reminds me of the old West. It's kind of a yellow orange. This wine, this is a 2014. Um, it is a blend. I'll tell you what the blend is here in a second. The ABV is 14.5%. So it's pretty nice. I consider the average reds usually around 13.5, 15 being a big, big lot of alcohol. So 14.5. It's pushing the limits. It came with a, uh, you know, a real cork for those of you that, uh, oops, excuse me, like the real cork. And it's basically uh, this picture here. The uh, bird. Uh, this cost me thirteen dollars uh, and forty-nine cents, and it is sixty-five percent Merlot, fifteen percent Cabernet Sauvignon, eight percent Syrah, eight percent Petit Syrah, and four percent Malbec. So, very interesting blend here of five uh, grapes. Um, this is aged, I don't know how long, but it is aged in, um, let's see if I wrote that down, in um, a combination of new and used French oak. And so white oak is what's used when oak is used because red oak is too porous. The French oak tends to be uh, more spicy, um, maybe roasted coffee, roasted chocolate notes, and a little more um, kind of a silky feel to it, where the American oak imparts more of vanilla, coconut, it's, um, it's the sweeter spices, dill sometimes is described, and instead of being silkier, it's creamier, a little thicker maybe. So there's a difference. Uh, of course the age of the oak and where it's grown, there's a lot that goes into it. But anyway, they're using French oak here. So uh, I opened it earlier and took a little taste. And uh, on this says that uh, you can age it for um, Five to ten years is their opinion. I think, yeah. We'll see. Uh, two things, three things is important for aging, and uh, one is the amount of sugar, which just won't have a lot of. It's going to be dry because it's 14.5 percent. Most of the sugar has been used to make the alcohol. The second thing is high tannin um, helps wines age, and then the third thing is high alcohol. So we know this has the alcohol. Um, now the darker it is, probably the more tannin, because the longer they've kept it in contact with the, the skins, and the skins is one of the places, the skins, the seeds, and the stems is one of the places where the tannin comes from, and the oak barrel, and we know it's been oaked. So I said, I opened it up earlier, and it was a little cold, I had it way too cold, and I only took it to the neck here, all right? It was at the neck, so it wasn't getting any air. Of course, you know air gets into the cork, and if you look at this cork, uh, corks are not airtight and they're not designed to be. I don't know if I can, yeah, there it is. See the red lines? See like that one? Let's see if I can see that one. It goes, uh, now if that line goes all the way to here, that means too much air and that's probably spoiled. But you can see that, 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 that it's, it's not, certainly not airtight. It's not even where the liquid's gotten through a little bit. So, uh, and that's how wine ages, that little bit of micro air getting in. Um, so here it is. It's a nice dark color. And uh, I let it sit for an hour so it's warmed up and I took it down to at least where the bottle is out of the neck so it's got it had a little more surface area. So now it's going to be totally different. When I taste it right out of the bottle when it was too cold and the cold closes it up was uh, did have a lot of fruit and some tannin to it. So let's see now. like the color, that's the kind of fruits that are in there, red. 
mainly the ones that jumped on me raspberry blueberry but I can see where you might smell plum black cherry all those would be a good descriptor and it would be in line with the fruitiness so it's definitely fruit forward spices too what they call baking spice what's baking spice nutmeg cinnamon stuff like that slightest 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 there's a sweet and a sour note both The initial taste is very uh, fruit forward again. The fruits I had mentioned, the dark fruits, the black fruits, the dark red fruits. Um, there is some from the oak. There, it, well, the, then you, well, there's some vanilla. Um, and you might get a little bit of the, of the following, not all of these, but one would fit all woodsy, earthy, leaves, tobacco, leather. I always put those in the same category. If two people say different ones of those, they're, they're still in the same ballpark. If you say plum and you say black cherry, the point is you got the fruit. So a little vanilla. Maybe a slice bit of cocoa. Now, what they suggest this goes with, this is from the, manu uh, the manufacturer, the uh, winemaker, is uh, skirt steak, uh, carne asada, and any grilled meat, spicy and blackened foods. So basically, anything you barbecue outside, you can get a nice smoky barbecue thing to a char. Spicy food, to me that's Asian, um, could be uh, Mexican. Um, and, and really any meat dish in my opinion. So um, it's good and I'll say this, for the price, it's very good. $13.49 is a great price, especially for a wine that's uh, now six years old. Um, and that you can keep back a little bit. And it does have the tannins to put back. So we know it has the alcohol and it has the tannin. And what's cool, and I always try to think of this, like we're, we're, on top of that, is there anything I could do with the label? So it says ammunition. So, And their ammunition to make good wine is what? The grapes, that's what they're saying. But if I knew somebody who's in the reloading, shooting, policeman, uh, gun enthusiast, um, just adds a little extra if you were to get them this wine or bring it over to dinner or something like that or serve it when they're coming over, right? Think, use your imagination to wear this one. Anyone who's into the Old West type stuff, uh, I mean anyone anyway, but uh, all those things, uh, this is particularly, uh, you know, the label's particularly fitting to in my opinion. So, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've had it from Real Police Talk, everybody. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe. Please check out my uh, videos subscribe. Thank you.